Hey everybody, Abolitionist Jay here with today's vlog. It's currently a little after 1 o'clock on Monday, June 11th, 2018, and there's some noise. <laughs> As you can tell, I'm outside, and I happen to be next to a not super busy, but fairly often traveled at high-speed road uh, out here in the country. So uh, you may hear some of that, and I apologize, but it's such a nice day, and I didn't want to sit in the house um, because, as I mentioned in my last video, I came upstate to uh, hang out with a buddy of mine uh, who offered uh, his place up to me. Uh, originally, I thought I was just going to stay on some land he had, but uh, I got here yesterday, and they ended up offering me the couch to sleep on and you know, fed me and stuff, so that was great. We hung out. Uh, so yeah, we're up here today, and I actually recorded a shorter video earlier of... Uh, a lot of you know what we're seeing around here plus uh some some shots of murder dog and the other dog you know my buddy's dogs that are here so I'll, i'm hanging out with them here for the day because my friend and his wife are off at work and i'm uh i've been told i'm allegedly somewhere near cooperstown new york which uh, houses the baseball hall of fame and as somebody who is a lifelong baseball fan although i've put that to the side for the past few years as i've focus more on like my podcast podcasting and activism and all that stuff and kind of also once I got rid of cable I couldn't watch the games anymore so I kind of forgot about it for a while and I considered going over there since I've never actually been despite the fact that I've lived in New York for 24 or 25 of the years of my life uh, I, I've never actually made it up there and since I was so close I thought about going earlier but I didn't really feel like moving uh Got some uh, neck and shoulder issues going on right now, probably. I think it's partially from the different ways I've been sleeping over the past week plus, and also because I did that one round of yoga and haven't got back to it. I'm still kind of sore from that and twisted from everything else, so I probably should have done some yoga this morning, but when I woke up, uh, my buddy was already gone, and uh, I chatted with his wife a little bit before she, she ran off to work. And uh, I just felt like having a shower because, you know, I get to have the shower here. And it's the first time I've had a shower two days in a row since I left the house. Uh, as I've mentioned before, I don't, you know, I kind of got into the habit of only showering every other day for the longest time. Anyway, once the kids were born, because my, my wife and I used to have to flip for it, who was going to get the shower that day. So, you know, two days in a row is a luxury for me. So it's kind of nice. But, you know, after I did that, and then uh, I had to take a drive to the uh, local gas station to pick up some stuff and uh, get some gas, put some air in the tires. That was, uh, you know, like five miles away, which is, I actually, I, I find refreshing, you know, some, of course, it's nice to have the convenience of being able to go, you know, a little bit down the road and pick up what you need. But it's nice when like that part of civilization is a little further away. And we really are, you know, aside from the, the road that gets used pretty often, you know, it's pretty quiet up here and uh, pretty, pretty peaceful. So I decided that since I'd already showered, uh, I wasn't going to do the whole yoga thing and since I really didn't feel like moving that much, I was just going to hang out here for the day uh, because it's nice, quiet, peaceful. As you can see, it's a beautiful day out. And uh, and that way also uh, my buddy's dogs don't have to stay in the house. All, you know, they usually, just like most people's dogs, they stay in the house while people are at work. Well, now they can hang out with me during the day too. So, so yeah, it's, uh, you know, things are still going pretty well, obviously. We didn't actually have to do the van nomadism thing last night as we were offered a place to stay. And we're probably going to do that again tonight. And then probably going to have to head out sometime late tomorrow morning. Unfortunately, uh, you know, my, my friend's wife even said, oh, you know, you don't have to rush out of here. You can stay a little longer. And I'd love to. I mean, I wish I could have come up here earlier. But, you know, obviously, as I talked about before, how everything happened with the, the trip for the wife and kids. And, oh, excuse me. There we go. Uh you know, the timing was off. I had that work to do this past weekend, so I couldn't get up here any earlier. And I'd love to stay longer, but, you know, the kids are scheduled to come home tomorrow. And since it's now, we're now on day six or seven or whatever, I've lost track uh, <laughs> since I've actually seen them. Watch, I think tonight at nine, around nine o'clock, it'll officially be seven full days uh, that I still haven't seen their little faces and anything other than pictures. I figure I should, uh, you know, be there to greet them when they get back. Because, uh, you know, I do miss them a lot. So, so yeah, we're probably going to have to have to head back tomorrow, unfortunately. But at least we got to get up here and, you know, three and a half, four hour ride. Wait, you know, use some gas to get up here. But worth it because 
Sorry, I'm just going to keep pausing as cars coming past because I don't know how loudly that's going to pick up until after I finish recording. But, you know, it's, it, it's it's obviously nice to get away from the island where I've kind of felt trapped for a long time. And also extremely nice to be out here in the countryside where it's, you know, a lot more peaceful, and a lot more my speed since uh, I did grow up in the uh, in the mountains in the in in, po- in Pennsylvania where you know pretty rural area I mean I, I don't know if I've talked about it in any, any of these videos before but I know I've talked about it on all my podcasts over the years a bunch you know when people say they came from a small town uh, I usually have to question how what what, what they mean by small cuz you know the town I grew up in I think we had less than 200 people when I was there um, it's a little bit bigger now I went back to visit uh, either last year or the year before on our way to uh, the Midwest Peace and Liberty Fest, I stopped off so I could show my kids where daddy grew up type of thing. And there were some more houses and stuff. Yeah, so there's definitely more people now. But yeah, back in the 80s and mid yeah, up to the mid-90s when I lived there, extremely small town. So uh, it's always been my preferred setting. You know, I was never a big fan of the cities. I mean, I like visiting some of them. Uh, New York is not one of them. I, I despise New York City despite living there for so long. Uh, maybe it's because I lived there so long. But, you know, I like visiting those places. And the suburbs, you know, they can be nice. They offer advantages. But, yeah, I'm more of a rural rural guy. And that's, you know, a big part of why I want to get the hell out of New York and get to the Midwest and uh, try to start a farm, you know. So being up here kind of reminds me of all of that. And it's really great. And, of course, on top of all that, it's great to see my buddy, um, you know, my buddy Craig. We haven't, we don't get to see each other that all that often. You know, we talk through Telegram and stuff like that. But he's been a huge help to me through everything I've been going through over the past year. Um, extremely supportive in multiple ways, yep. including uh, including monetarily helping me out when I needed a little assistance. So he, he's a really good friend, and uh, I'm really glad uh, he invited me up here to, to, to chill out because uh, it's nice, you know. And uh, it's funny, I, I just about stopped before because I heard something, but I, I guess that was like a small motorbike or scooter or something it wasn't that noisy the other thing that you see up here which is great because obviously i don't get this anywhere close to me on long island is not only is, is this road uh, next to his place you know used pretty frequently it's a uh, you know one of those uh, county or state or whatever roads that just runs on forever and covers a lot of ground and people use it as cut throughs between the towns that are further spread out up here and there's for large portions of it there's no speed limit which is really awesome uh, so people whip down these roads so it can be a little dangerous but mixed in with that is also every so often well fairly often i came up across a couple of them yesterday on my way here and another one on my way back from the gas station earlier today uh the amish are up here so mixed in with the people racing up and down this two lane road you know one lane going each way there's also just horse drawn horse drawn horse drawn carriages with the amish in it just trucking along you know trucking along at their speed up and down the same road and uh I, I i find that i find that awesome i mean i've talked in the past part of the reason that originally i was uh trying to set up shop for my farm and stuff in ohio is especially in the southern ohio region there it's really big amish and uh quaker and you know di- those different types of mennonites and all those type of people who obviously they're they have different views on things they're not you know people some people confuse them and try to think those terms are interchangeable they're not um, but they do have some core values uh that are very similar and just a more simple lifestyle in general and they're also uh, a really big help if you're somebody who wants to be in agriculture because wherever they are they they don't like government intrusion in any way you know any more than any anarchist does and they will actually stand up and fight when the uh when the the government tries to make you know additional laws that will end up affecting them and what what they do and what they're trying to do, and uh, they become a they become a very powerful uh, lobbying group in that sense. So you know I think it's good to make friends with those type of people if you're go if you're going to want to get into that line of work. So it's uh it's always interest it's always interesting for me to run into them uh, in different places because uh you know I kind of dig a lot with a lot of what they do. So. I mean, I don't know. As much as I joke about being a Luddite, I don't know if I'd ever be able to give up all of my technology. And I know not all of them do that anymore either. But, uh, you know, I, I do like the simple life. I don't know if I could go that simple. I'm sure I could try, you know. I'm already kind of getting the hang for this minimalist thing, uh, you know, a little bit while I'm doing the whole van nomadism thing. So maybe I could. Who knows? We'll find out. But 
Yeah, it was just cool. It was just kind of cool to run into them. Like one of them actually uh, on my way back when I was on my way back from the gas station, he ended up on the road in front of me, like a quarter of a mile away from my from my buddy's house, and uh, he ended up actually pulling o- like pulling his little carriage and I think he was actually had a tractor. He was he was gonna have him pulled by horses that he uh, tried to get that pulled over the side of the road so I could go around him. And uh, I didn't like I I wasn't being a rude New Yorker, wasn't honking or anything. I was actually quite content just sitting behind him and going five miles an hour, which I usually hate to do in pretty much all circumstances, because uh, I'm usually forced to by stupid government rules where they have five mile an hour zones or whatever, you know. So I was actually quite content to do that. And uh, but he waved me on anyway, and I thanked him. But yeah, I was I would have sat behind him. It's fine, you know. You do drive over a lot of dog, uh, dog, horse poop <laughs> on these roads because these guys are traveling back and forth. But whatever, it's on the tires. You get over it. So yeah, it's uh, you know, like I said, I'm uh, I'm enjoying myself up here, and it definitely helps remind me why I want so badly to get out of where I live. Because even though I'm still in New York, even though I'm only like four hours away from my old house, it's a completely different world up here, and uh, it's a beautiful one. And I, I can't get wait to get can't wait to get back to it on a more permanent basis, and uh, get to show my kids this type of life too. Because, you know, something I, I kind of always wish I had had, and I did to some extent. But you know, taking it to the next level with the farming and stuff. Looking back, I wish I had had a chance to do that. So, I want to give my kids the opportunity, and uh, hopefully they'll enjoy it. You know, if they don't, we'll have to figure something else out. But, yeah. So anyway. Uh, I think that's about all I got for right now. Like I said, I just wanted to, I did, I did record my last one like only 13 hours ago. I think I just got that in just under the wire and then didn't post it before the end of the day. Cause unfortunately by the time I got back inside the house and got the laptop set up to start uploading, uh, it was taking forever on the Wi-Fi, unfortunately, cause as much as I try to use steam it and D2, uh, D2 and D sound and all this stuff, doesn't always work the greatest when you're on Wi-Fi, but I keep trying because I have committed to making Steam at my new home, and that is where all the content goes for us. So because it took forever, I ended up passing out, and it was when I woke up this morning around 6 a.m. or something. I'm like, oh, yeah, look, it's done now. I could, you know, I'm Obviously, I'm sure it finished much more, you know, hours before that, but when I woke up, I was like, oh, yeah, should probably hit submit now. So um, even though it hasn't been that long, you know, I, I really wanted to get another recording done outside like this. And like I said, since I'm sitting around right now, I didn't feel like doing much else. And, you know, I have this house to myself for right now. Figured I would take advantage of it. And uh, this way I won't have to be rushing later in case uh, we get into some fun conversations like we did last night and uh, arguments and stuff like that and have some beers. And maybe I could convince Craig to do a podcast with me. We'll see. Going to try. Um, but yeah, so. Other than that, uh, I'm still waiting to hear back from Graham, uh, my, uh, my, f- my friend out in Japan who uh, offered to have me on his show tomorrow morning. And if we could set that up, I'll get up early. And, you know, because obviously he's on the other side of the world from me. And he said something about it being on, you know, morning in my time. So depending depending on uh, if we could set that up, I, I plan to try to uh, do a live recording with him which uh, hopefully, uh, thanks to his uh, presence on Steam, it will bring me uh, bring my uh, content in front of more, even more eyes. So, Graham, once again, man, I, I really appreciate uh, even oh, even even if we don't manage to hook it up. I uh, you know, I really hope we do because we've talked about this before. I, I want to get you on my show too, man. But <laughs> even if we don't manage to hook it up for some reason, uh, I'm really appreciative that you want to try to get my blog out there to in front of more people. So, uh, you know. I could uh, I could really use that help on Steam. It as you know, since like I said, I made it my home. I put all my content there first. I'm hoping to uh, start getting you know more followers. I'm gonna keep gaining followers, and I keep getting some upvotes and stuff like that. And I have wonderful people like Graham who are kind of looking out for me and helping me out in that regard. Um, but I could use some more because <laughs> if I can uh, start bringing in a little more income that way through these type of videos it'll take more pr- take some more pressure off me having to do anything else to help my family um until we can get set up so it's great and like i said i appreciate it one way or the other i, I appreciate the appreciate the help man so yeah hopefully i'll get that set up and then obviously we'll we'll i think we're he was planning on doing a live one so yeah maybe you guys will see me live tomorrow that'd be great and either way i'll be back tomorrow with yet another update 
most likely because I'm going to try to schedule a thing in the morning with him, and then I am going to have to get out of here sometime early to get back home, or at least back towards the, towards the kids, rather, not, not home. Ho- home is where the element is right now, so <laughs> I'm home right now. <laughs> but to get back to me- near my kids, uh, I'm not going to want to race to do another video so i'll probably wait till after i get to go hang out with them for a while and then they go they go you know they go back to their apartment